Hi, I'm Cheryl Markowitz. I am a disabled adult. Today's my 60th birthday. Yay! Today, we're just going to talk a little bit about what it's like to be 60 and to be in a disabled body. I have a couple diagnoses, but the most prevalent is something called Charcot Marie tooth disease. It's the most uh, inherited form of peripheral neuropathy, meaning that my arms and legs and hands and feet get weak because the covering of the nerves called the myelin sheath don't work well and so the muscles atrophy. It's slowly progressive and it affects different people different ways. For me, I've had a ton of orthopedic surgery on my feet and I wear leg braces. Um, they're ankle foot orthotic and they help me from falling and I walk with a cane. Also not my favorite thing, but I have grown accustomed to it and I have many fabulous canes. Uh, about a year ago, Bob said to me, what do you want to do for your birthday? And I was very specific, because that's what I do. I said, I would like to be in London, in Peloton Studios, riding with Leanne Hainsby. We were able to make it work. And today was the most magical morning. I wore a tiara going to Peloton, which was super fun, because you know, I like a little tiara and a little glitter. Like, I can't even explain how excited I was. Peloton has been just a joy for a lot of years now. And about five, six years ago, I was working at a company in New York and my manager, who's become a friend, his name is Steve Black, said to me, why don't you ride Peloton? And I thought, I, I can't ride Peloton. Thanks for the suggestion, but that's not happening. I have a special shoe with a magnet that you lock into and I couldn't wear that because my leg braces don't fit in. I kept coming up with a million excuses. He went and did research, he had had it with me. So he said, no, you could do it. So they have a cage that you can go on top of it and put your sneakers in. So as long as I could be in my own sneakers, I'm good. And then I had run out of excuses. So we ordered a Peloton. My lovely husband, Bob, changed it and retrofitted it and I began riding Peloton. I fell in love with it. My body feels unusually free and I don't feel disabled when I'm on the Peloton. I can go whatever pace I want. I don't care how slow I am. I'm just competing against me. For my birthday, I just really wanted to have a competition that I set for myself. This was it. It was coming to Peloton Studios London and riding in a class. And while I was covered in sweat and absolutely the slowest one, I did it. And I'm so proud of myself. I'm grateful that my body held out for 30 minutes. It was like my own personal marathon that I wanted to do. And while everyone was standing and I could not, I just moved my hands and it was totally fine. I accommodated it. I made it into the studio. I did the best that I could do. And this whole body held up pretty well. It was just an incredible goal to set for myself. Honestly, Bob has been such a champion. He made today and this week happened with me and the people at Peloton were so incredible. They got me in first, they got me set up in my seat, they helped with my kink. They could not have been nicer. There was a woman named Lisa who took me into the studio. We gave her a headband. She could not have been more precious. And people were saying, oh my gosh, I wanna be you when I grow up. They were high-fiving me. Someone took pictures with me and I'm gonna put her in my Insta because she was lovely. Honestly, Leanne Hainsby is my spirit animal. She is the happiest most incredible young woman like she's amazing she has a smile on her face and she's just pure joy and you know what life is hard and she has had some health things and the fact that she puts a smile on her face i just so get it and i told her how proud i was of her and i told her how excited i was for she and her fiance ben to be doing a marathon in two weeks it's just all exciting and wonderful anyone today who i have come across has been really gracious and kind and lovely and i just feel so incredibly blessed and that was just made it so magical today it's been a, just a magical day so i don't know today was about doing the most you can do with your body and being healthy being healthy is a choice and warriors you know this you know i feel really strongly you have to eat well you have to sleep well you have to listen to your body you can take your time you know through all the training i had days off the first day here, I slept so long, Bob has never seen me sleep in the same position for 11 hours. He could not wake me up yesterday morning, I was so tired. Where I wanted to do is jump out of bed, go work out, but I let my body rest. I just needed it. And I'm pretty sure if you were to ask any of my doctors, my amazing doctors at Georgetown Medical Center, Dr. Nyer, I think she would say, you're amazing, I can't believe what you can do. 
uh, Dr. Mohan Raj, like there are just some amazing physicians who have taken care of me and still take care of me and are really supportive and only want me to be successful. So I'm feeling really good. Came back and showered and went and had an amazing breakfast. So I'm feeling great, which is amazing. I did adjust some medication to make this morning work. And so it did beautifully. And I'm just so grateful. It was just an incredible goal to set for myself. When you have physical disabilities or health issues, your body is loud. Every day is different. It's like living on quicksand. You have your footing for a second and whoop, the sand switch and all of a sudden everything's different. There's new medication, there's new aches and pains. If you think you understand your body and you got it in a good rhythm, it's going to change. And so that's difficult and it's hard to anticipate what those changes are. Learning all those things is complicated and when you have any health condition at all, I think it's really important that we support one another through this. I mean, there's always someone who has a body that is more challenged than yours because the human body is changing for all of us. None of us are getting out of here alive. I had a neurologist many, many years ago who once said to me, the day you stop moving is the day you start dying. And I heard that loud and clear. I'm not gonna succumb to this. I'm gonna keep fighting. I'm gonna keep being strong. I'm gonna set another goal for my 65th. I don't know what it is yet, but you'll have to help me out one every end's opinion. Keep enjoying life. It's a gift. Every day is a gift for all of us. No one knows what tomorrow brings. And so it's just so important to live your life as much as possible. Find what works for you. Because at the end of the day, you get one body, you have to take care of it, and then you can enjoy your life, honestly not easy. No one is saying it's easy, but find the joy and find other people you can talk to. I think that's really, really important.